Okay, guys, somebody asked about flex pitch and how good it is for um, playing in stuff and then converting it to MIDI notes from audio. Well, it's a bit hit and miss, just to show you. Um, there's a lot of correction that has to be done and everything. Let's start with, say, a bass guitar. Um, I've got a bass track here, right? Now, the simpler the pattern, if you're playing a pattern that's sort of like... that's going to come out much easier because it's simple staccato notes but if you're playing a bass line like, I don't know, sort of that ain't going to come out it just won't translate so simple stuff let's put a simple bass line down Simple bass line, right? It's very staccato played, separate notes as much as possible. Right? And then we open it in the editor, switch on the flex, flex pitch, pardon me, just have a sandwich, flex pitch, and you can see all these anomalies in like doubled notes and things like that, but we'll just convert. Create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Right, there's the notes resulting. Put a bass on this track, bass, thumb bass, and there'll be a lot of, look, see the corrections that you've got to do in here? Have a look at that. Yeah. You've got, let's close the library. So first of all, there's lots of extra double notes. You've got to get rid of those. All these little extra doubles it puts in. You've got to get rid of those. It's all like bum notes, little extras it seems to put at the beginning of some notes. I don't know why, but it does. Get rid. Get rid. The other thing, I'll just come on. The other thing that happens is you get the velocity now from the flex pitch data. <laughs> but for some really bizarre reason, even though the maximum velocity for MIDI notes is 127, you take a loud note like say this one and look it's it's velocity is 150 which is impossible so I'll, what we do now what i would do is i'd select a command a select all the notes function midi transform fixed velocity i've already selected all the notes fixed velocity at a value of 100 velocity i only need to operate only because i've already selected all the notes boom it's set them all to a velocity of 100 now let's listen to what we got so that's a little extra bum note there. I don't know how that got in. Um, let's lower the velocity down of all these notes because we're getting a little bit of bass slide effect from the sample. That little extra bum note there. And there's a bum note. So I've done a bit of cleaning up. Next thing, Command A, select everything and quantize it to sixteenths. Then I've got to get rid of some of these overlap notes that might be too long. Like here. Let's see that. Now these last notes can't quite be grabbed enough, so I'll manually bring that one forward. That's better, and then this one. That gives me all the feel of the original bass line. And then Command A, select everything, and I'm going to transpose it all up. So uh, in the region parameter box up here, I've got this region selected. I'll transpose it up an octave. Let's see it. Let's hear it with the original bass. So, you know, you've got a rough approximation there, right? And then you could go back, you could go through and tweak the velocity of some of the notes, etc. Okay, now let's um, see if it's useful, like if you're going to sing, like, say you can't play an instrument, but you want to, rather than play, and you're not 
I'm not a keyboard player, right? When I build keyboard parts and things, I pencil in and I work in terms of what I understand about harmony and, and notes, right? But I build my chords and I build my progressions manually, listening, correcting, listening, correcting, to get what I want. I, I can't play do -do 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 on keyboards, right? What if you can't play the master keyboard at all? Maybe we could use it to sing in notes that we hear and convert. So let's say we want a little uh, lick that went with this bass. Right, let's delete this space now. We've created the MIDI from it. And let's sing in a little pattern over the top on the mic. So I'll get the track here. Here's its channel. I'll switch to my mic input. And let's say I'm going to sing a sort of simple, uh, brassy type pattern that might go with this, or guitar and brass playing the same lick. So I sing in very staccato, unless that was a brass and guitar line or something. Okay, again, here we have it down here in the editor. Double click to open it in the editor. Right. Flex pitch on, um, and let's convert. Convert to uh, create MIDI track from flex pitch data, and here's my brass that I sang. Okay, um, now it puts the electric piano on, there's a default instrument, so first thing I'm going to fix the velocity of the notes, with them all selected, Command A, select all the notes, bit transform, fix velocity, fix it to 100, operate, boom, right, that's the velocity fixed. <laughs> And then uh, Command A, select everything, quantize it. Let's hear it. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then uh, you could use it for those kind of things. But as I've shown you, there's correction to do the resulting MIDI pattern there. You could make it play an instrument you want. Let's have a bit of drums to go with it, actually, just to hear. Um, I'll make a new track, a drummer track. And I'm going to use uh, R and B. Let's try a funky beat. See if it works with this. Get rid of that. Um, yeah, a little bit of a funky beat. Try a different drummer. And this could be um, this could be a guitar. Let's a picking type uh, classic clean guitar. Come on. Then I'll duplicate the track and put a brass on the other one. Uh, what is brass under world, isn't it? No. String, percussion, keyboard, voice, woodwind, where's the brass? Orchestral, of course, yes. Brass. Um, I don't know. Full brass. I'm going to copy this pattern down. So this pattern I sang is going to be played by the brass on the guitar. And this one I'll transpose it up, the brass, just to see what happens. And then we'll bring the singing back in. And I'll put a vocal preset on it. Right vocal, let's say. Guitar, let's try to better sound. Um, try lead synth. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? And I'll lower that one down an octave. Let's try an octave up. Regular octave. You know, and as you, you kind of cheesy 70s sing along with the pattern type thing um, but you see yeah, it works but you have to do a certain amount of correction and the cleaner the pattern is whether you sing in a pattern or play in a pattern from something like a bass or a guitar to help you get the midi notes it's a bit of a long winded thing right but playing or singing and you must make sure there are what doesn't translate is pitch slurs don't really translate hammer-ons etc don't so it's this works with best with clean patterns as you've seen once you've converted to MIDI you've got to take out often little extra bum notes that are put at the beginning of some notes um, and then you've got to select all the notes and fix their velocity with function MIDI transform fixed velocity to just set them at a decent level after which you can choose individual notes and change their velocity to make the pattern feel better in terms of the velocity accents um, and quantize right but it works playing off a bass or, or singing in patterns. I mean, that's fairly quick to get that pattern together. Okay, so I hope that's useful.